All right, so here's the version two of this battery box. Um, I want to show you some of the refinements that I did, things that I added to it. And as you can tell, this is just a cheap 22 inch toolbox from any hardware store, just a plastic one. I'm taking the top off so that you don't try to pick it up by the handle. Uh, it is pretty heavy, it's about 50 pounds. I haven't weighed it exactly yet, but it's roughly around there. Opening it up, as you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, seven and a half watt solar panel. This is kind of used to just trickle charge this. It won't charge it real fast, but this will keep it topped off. And let's put that aside first. Charge controller. And I've switched all these connectors out to these SAE style connectors. Just because these SAE connectors are pretty cheap. They can handle a decent amount of amperage. Here's another SAE connector hooked up to a cigarette lighter plug. This is wired in there. So I can connect that. And there's various other cigarette lighter plugs that are just kind of hardwired in. Three of them. Three more of them. So I can have a total of four cigarette lighter plugs. This one is connected like this for a reason. I'll show you that in a second. SAE 4 to 1 splitter or combiner. This is mainly used for charging. I can get multiple solar panels, connect them all up, hook it up to the charge controller, and as long as it doesn't exceed 7 amps, I'll be able to top this battery box off. A cigarette lighter, male to male. This will let me charge it while it's in the car. Splitter, so I can have even more. And I have a couple of these that I keep in here, just USB chargers. These things put out um, 4.2 amps at 5 volts, so that's 21 watts of output per. That's pretty fast. These two will charge four iPads at the same time or four of however many USB devices in the charging. Various USB cables. Yet another cigarette lighter splitter. Probably don't need this many as the wire is not as heavy duty. And this is, this is another male cigarette lighter connected to an SAE connector. Okay, so let's go inside. You can see what's in here. So in here I've got two 35 amp AGM batteries. And also I've got it hooked up to a 400 watt pure sine wave inverter. So I can power that on. And here I can use that to power 110 volt devices, AC devices, like a computer charger or um, anything that's under 400 watts. That'll run it for a fair amount of time. Okay. It's pretty much what I've got in there and also I've got this SAE connector hard wire into the battery with a little notch cut out on the side so that I can that can just hang off to the side this way I can close the lid and in the front show you here I've got a switch and a voltmeter will tell me my state of charge. It's very low amp draw, so I can leave that on all day long if I want to. Or I can just turn it off. Alright. So let's put this back in show you how this is generally used. So all this stuff goes back in here. 
I will probably end up simplifying a lot of this. I'm going to leave the charge controller out. This goes back in. All this stuff goes back in. And I'll leave this out. Cigarette lighter to SAE. Okay. So this way I've got all the stuff in here and I can close it. Okay, and I can monitor the charge on the battery bank. And with this little pigtail hanging out with the SAE connector, I can plug in my charge controller like that and then on this end plug in the solar panel and now I can just let this sit in the sun See, so yeah, since I'm not in the sun, this is not showing any charge, or not that much anyways. But I've got plenty of wire. This is about maybe 10 feet of wire. So I can uh, place the battery in the shade to keep it cool and put the panel out in the sun. And with that SAE splitter, I can put multiple panels on here. And the other thing I can do while the battery is closed... I can throw this connector on there. Grab one of these guys. And charge USB devices. And again, you can see the state of charge. Constantly. Right, so that's a closer look at this portable battery box. Again, it's 70 amp hours of 12 volt AGM with various connectors, solar charge controller, solar charger, USB charger, and a uh, 400 watt pure sine wave inverter to take care of all my portable power needs. Thanks for watching.